So hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Amesy's Corner. Well, it's just another day at the shop fixing up these old vehicles, keeping them out of the cabbage. Uh, one thing that I've had to do ever since I happed, uh, patched the sonnet back together is I seem to be the guy that gets all the, uh, the crusty, rusty things that have to get kept on the road. Um, I've never actually repaired one of these bedsides with the right panel. I've actually got both sides going on. This is the, the panel we have here. I, uh, I got a new time-lapse camera. Nice little uh, GoPro Hero 4 session. Um, hopefully stepping up the time-lapse game. I figured this would be a good chance for me to, to try to get to know this camera a little better and uh, set up a little time-lapse of uh, a rust repair. I'm also in the middle of doing the other side. I've already got this panel kind of in place and uh, that was the easy side though. That was the easy side. This uh, this driver's side is in really rough shape. So uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me set this thing up and figure out why it's acting all funny and funky and we'll see if we can get a good time lapse of this thing going down.
pretty well welded in. Uh, you guys saw this side on time lapse, but uh, all uh, all of you body guys out there shaking your head, just remember, I don't do this every day. Um, I think this is a pretty good repair for the kind of shop we are. This being a work truck, it really, you know, look at look at the truck. Take a good look at it. It uh, we're not looking for perfect showroom condition uh, finish here. We're just looking for pass inspection and hold together. But uh, remember just how rough that was before we started on this side and the other side. It um, definitely gonna pass muster now. Uh, also, you guys didn't see me, but uh, I did a patch down here, which I got a little bit of bondo already on, and. Uh, that's next. Next up here is we gotta. I gotta bondo this all in. So uh, the time lapse camera uh, kept shutting off on me. This camera here. I've still gotta learn how to use the new GoPro. So uh, hopefully that uh, time lapse comes out. And enough of this project got caught on that. So it's uh, it's an entertaining episode. Otherwise, this is gonna go on the cutting room floor again. But uh, way she goes, boys. Way she goes. Let me uh, mix up some mud and uh, let's get to finishing this project right, up. It's pretty much all ready for paint. Got all the Bondo done. I, uh, the time-lapse camera shut off on me uh, right at the end of the metal work, so it is what it is. It is what it is, but you guys get the idea. All smoothed out, ready to go. Uh, like I might have said before, I don't remember. We, we left the whole patch. Uh, usually you would try to trim this in, in where this radius is and fit it in nicer, but uh, we wanted the extra metal so we left the whole patch we figured it'd make it a little stronger because there's no inner structure on this thing but uh yeah that's pretty much the end of that just got to uh put a little guide coat of primer on there and make sure we get all the bubbles and little uh pop marks out of there but uh yeah pretty good pretty good repair for something i don't do every day but uh anyway guys i gotta put a little bit of guide coat and a little more sanding to do and then uh get all this uh nasty dust picked up and off of me so until next time guys Keep it out of the cabbage.